Good morning, folks. We're sitting here, hopefully not at the calm before the storm. We'll see several things to watch on our star here, and we'll also get a look at atmospheric dust and a paper about solar forcing of the atmosphere, which plays a bit bigger than just within the realm of climate science. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. And right now, geomagnetic conditions are quiet, so is the solar wind. We didn't have considerable solar flaring over the last day, or big CMEs but we had a lot of growing coronal unrest, which we'll see in a moment. And we're also going to need to be on solar wind watch here towards the end of the weekend and early next week. You can kind of see the coronal hole here, but in 211 angstroms, it's very visible. First healthy looking coronal hole in a couple weeks directly on the equator. Will provide enhanced solar wind, likely on Monday or Tuesday, possibly geomagnetic storms as well. Also helping to fuel an earthquake watch, but perhaps what we're watching most on our star right now is for major eruptive activity. Why? Because as you'll see here on the north, plasma activity continues to intensify. Several places, including around the polar crown, we have considerable coronal challenges to stability. Eyes on it, and already this morning, folks, it's in process as we speak here in the early hours. The big southern filament is about to release. We'll have eyes on that today. Two quick stories here. First, we look at atmospheric dust and find that indeed they finally confirm its cooling effect in undeniable fashion. Now, they say that atmospheric dust is up about 55% since the mid 1800s, but the problem is dust storm activity has not gone up a whopping 55%. It is higher, but not to that degree. Folks, the mid 1800s is when the galactic current sheet began impacting our solar system and with it, began coming the dust. Not a small revelation in this one, but masked by their focus on climate. Observers, read between the lines. Lastly, folks, in this one they are describing powerful effects on the electrical statistics of the atmosphere during a minor geomagnetic event, and I do mean minor. And while this helps move them along in understanding how subtly and yet profoundly the sun impacts the atmosphere, in fact, they say these processes simply cannot be ignored anymore, but it's also way, way more than should be expected from such a small space weather event. Folks, without Earth's weakening magnetic field letting the sun have a more direct shot at the upper atmosphere, no, there is no chance we get data like they got here. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun. Learn more about the solar impact to climate, the galactic dust in our solar system and what it will do, and the Earth's weakening magnetic field with our playlists and our books listed in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.